Hi, first grade friends. Today we are going to be reviewing um, 2D shapes and 3D shapes and what they, their similarities and differences. We're going to start with a circle. Is that uh, 2D or 3D? You think it's two dimensional or is that a three dimensional shape? Hmm, I noticed when she turned it sideways, oh, it's just flat. There's nothing. You can't really grab anything around that. It's just a flat shape. Two-dimensional. That's just a 2D shape. The next two-dimensional shape is a square. How many sides does a square have? Yeah, one, two, three, four sides. You know what? I have another two-dimensional shape that also has four sides. What's this one called? Yeah, it's a rectangle. One, two, three, four sides of the rectangle. But I notice, hmm, they look different. Even though they both have four sides, they still look different. This one, the square, has four sides that are exactly the same. They're equal, four equal sides on this one. The rectangle has two shorter sides and two longer sides that are the same on both sides when you turn them. So that's the difference between a square and a rectangle. And the last shape we're looking at in two-dimensional is a triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? One, two, three. Three sides. All right, the next type of shape is three-dimensional. Three-dimensional is more, it stands out. You can turn it, you can move it, and you can feel different sides instead of just a flat piece of paper or a flat um, shape, like a two-dimensional shape. We're gonna start with a sphere. The next three-dimensional shape is a cube. A cube is like a square, but a bunch of them put together. And then there's also a rectangular prism. Again, it's like lots of uh, rectangles with some squares on the top and the bottom that turns into a shape that you can move and touch all the sides. That's why it's three-dimensional. And the shape that goes with the triangle is the cone. The cone is round, but also has a flat side on the bottom. Thanks for learning your shapes with us today.